Another feature introduced in OS X Mavericks is called Tags. Tags replace labels, which have been in OS X since its beginnings. With labels, you could assign any file or folder a color and customize the name associated with that color if you wanted. Tags does that and much more. Tags are built more deeply into the Mac OS than labels were. Tags are searchable and files can be arranged by tags in the finder. Multiple tags can be added to one file and tags can be assigned from the save dialog boxes and apps. But the biggest plus of tags is that they work with files stored in iCloud. We'll get to that shortly. You can see here that tags has its own section in the finder sidebar. This is the default list of tags. 10 tags most named by color and 3 named work, home, and important. Tags also has its own section in the finder preferences. In here I can edit tag names as well as choose which tags are displayed in the sidebar and which ones are known as my favorite tags. Tags don't have to have a color assigned to them. You can see the three name tags, work, home, and important, don't have a color associated with them. So tags don't necessarily have to have a color assigned to them. To hide a tag in the sidebar, just uncheck it here on the right. I can click on any tag name here to change the name. For the green one, I'm going to rename it to Invoices. And I'm going to name the blue one Work Files. This gets a little redundant with the second Work tag that doesn't have a color assigned to it. So I'm going to right click on that one and delete it. Then I'm just going to leave the two new tags I just created as favorites. Now I can start assigning tags to files. Right click on any file or folder to tag them. I'm going to assign the Work Files tag to this Work Project Photos folder. Notice that when I tag a folder, the files within it are not automatically tagged as well. So for now, I'm only going to tag these folders. If I click on the Work Files tag here in the sidebar, those folders are listed. I can then open them up to get to the files inside as usual. Let's go back and tag the files within those two folders. When I come back to the work files tag in the sidebar, all those files are displayed alongside the folders they're in. So this is something to think about when tagging folders and or files. If you tag files that are in folders, all those files will be displayed when the tag is selected in the sidebar. To keep things a little less cluttered, it might be better to only tag the folders. Of course, this will depend on your workflows and personal preferences. So now let's talk about tags in iCloud. If you have used iCloud to store files created within an application like Numbers, Pages, Text Edit, or Preview, you know that when you save a file from one of those apps to iCloud, that file is sort of locked into that application's directory. For example, here in Numbers I have three documents stored in iCloud, the budget file and two sample invoices that are in an invoices folder. This is great because these files will be accessible from any other Mac or iOS device that's signed in to my iCloud account and using the Numbers application. So I want to leave these files in here, but I also like to organize these sort of files in folders, maybe by job type or with different finance files that don't open in Numbers, like PDFs, text files, or a scanned image. 
So far with iCloud files, this could be a tough choice. Go for the convenience of having access to them on iCloud whenever and wherever, or organize them the way you want in folders on your Mac. With tags, you can have it both ways. So I'm going to open this sample invoice here in Numbers. It's stored in iCloud and no tags are assigned. I can assign a tag to a document by clicking on its name at the top of the window. I'm going to assign this one to both invoices and work files. But what if I also want to organize invoices by client? For that, I can just create a new tag by typing in the name. In this case, the client name will just be sample. That will create a new tag named sample that does not have a color assigned to it. In my sidebar now, I can see that the sample invoice is listed under work files and invoices. By the way, just drag and drop to rearrange tags within the sidebar, and right-click to delete or rename them. I also have the new tag called Sample here with the invoice in it. Now I can go back to Numbers and add tags to the other files in iCloud. This budget document will be tagged as a work file. I also want to add it to the Sample client tag. That one isn't listed in my favorites tag, and I don't want it to be. So I need to click here on tags, and all my tags are displayed, and I can select the one I need. I'm going to tag some other files stored in iCloud with text edit and preview. Although all these files are stored in iCloud under their respective apps, I can access them with tags whenever I need to and see them beside other files that are organized by the same tag. With the sample client tag, I can organize any number of different files that have to do with this client and be able to view them all with one click. So for those of us that have been using folders to gather and organize files for a certain subject, this might take some getting used to. But with the benefits that come with having files stored on iCloud, like access from anywhere, using another Mac, iOS device, or even just a web browser with iWork for iCloud, plus having a backup of the file that resides on Apple servers, using tags to organize all these files stored in iCloud is a very valuable feature and one that Mac users should become familiar with, even if you aren't using iCloud a lot quite yet.